Good evening, everyone. Happy Bliss Monday. Happy day one of our better challenge. Um, I'm super excited that the internet is actually letting me go live right now before we settle down and unwind for the night. Um, what a day it's been. What a day it's been. It's been a day up and down, you know, mom life, just life in general. Um, so I wanted to hop on and encourage you. It's 9 p.m. here. I don't know what time it is over there, but if you didn't get your movement mitt in, your movement in for today, I encourage you move your body for 20 minutes or more today for your day one movement before midnight. You can do it. It could be something so simple. You can follow the YouTube video that I did. It was not perfect because this is day one to my challenge with you as well. So even though I do have results of already 40 pounds after postpartum number two, I'm still working on me. And I'm so grateful that you are on this journey with me for better to work on ourselves our physical body our mental state right our spiritual growth it's all together and what's funny about the video is i you know the enemy's a liar okay i was about to not post the video but i'm like no this this is for us this is a private group an intimate group for a reason and we need to hold each other accountable so me as the leader i need to do that right even when i feel uncomfortable or even when i don't feel my best it's to encourage each other, to inspire each other. And what's funny, when I do cardio or I work out, I tend to layer up. Um, so I had like a layer of like the sweat belt, then another sweat belt on top because I'm working on my back. And then I had like a sweater under, then I had the other shirt. So it looked like I was like kind of like a little still pregnant, but I wasn't. Um, but it's okay because I know it's working. I will be sharing what I use to sweat more on my arms, on my waist, on my back with you this week. So that's going to be one of the tips that I'm going to share with you um, tonight though. I wanted to talk about why we are incorporating movement, right? We all know that working out is important. Working out is important. We all know that movement could be any type of movement. It could be a very aggressive, hardcore, maybe you're a runner, maybe you're a professional dancer, maybe you're a swimmer, whatever it may be, or maybe you're just taking it little by little like me bouncing back um with the postpartum journey and you're starting with walking or you're starting with stretching or you're starting with moving your body again and dancing in the kitchen and dancing with your kids movement though movement is key and if we start this habit now day one and continue for 21 days to move our body for 20 minutes or more we're going to create that positive habit in our lives and in our family's lives. Our children are going to follow us. Our husbands are going to follow us. Our partners, whatever it may be, because you are creating that for your home. You are creating that for your lifestyle. It starts with us. So movement. I wanted to say the definition for it, right? Movement. Movement affects everything from your circulation to your digestion, to your metabolism, for immunity. Aren't we in a crazy season that we all need to be healthier, right? We need to worry and care for our immunity even more. So it's helping with that. Moving regulates your body and the hormones. So ladies, we need that as well. A good try. Uh-oh, we'll fix it later. Really yeah. Mom life, guys, this is real. So we want that, right? We want to regulate our hormones. I have PCOS, so I know how important it is to regulate my hormones. That's why I do incorporate movement. I know that it works. I know that drinking water 
helps with hormones. I know that ketones help with hormones. Um, and it's going to produce an active detoxifying lifestyle for us, right? So it's very important that we're moving our body, that we're using movement daily. Doesn't mean you have to be a gym rat, does not mean that you have to be a professional. Moving your body daily for 20 minutes. You can take a walk, you can stretch in your house. You can do a Zumba video. You can do yoga. There's so many different things. You can do um, different workouts before the shower, which I'll go ahead and post a few of those like quick workouts before the shower. Those are great. Those have saved me so much sometimes when I'm like running behind on schedule and I don't have time to do a full workout, but I'm going to take a shower before bed, right? So you incorporate a quick workout before you jump in the shower super cool right so i'll be posting those tips as we go through this um amazing challenge together as well um tomorrow i will be posting the tips on what i use before my workouts to help me with better fat loss better focus um help me sweat more and burn more fat because i know we're all on this better journey and any tips that i can share i want to Okay, when we do work out, hi Cynthia, thank you mama, when we do work out, we release endorphins, right? So endorphins actually can be endorphins good or bad in our body and in our brain, right? So we're either going to release the endorphins that are going to cause us pain that are going to cause us to not feel well because we're not moving our body. We're not doing something that's going to activate the good endorphins. When we activate the good endorphins, when we use movement in our lifestyle, we feel better. Okay? It's a little signal that goes off for our body and it's like, ooh, I feel good. Okay? That's what it's called, endorphins. If you didn't know, that's a cool fun fact. And um, it works with your nerve system and the glands. She's touching the computer. All right. So we definitely want to get away from the pain and the stress endorphins. And we want to go into the active, healthy, happy endorphins. You know, the endorphins you get when that happiness when you eat. That endorphins you get when you exercise. The endorphins you get, we're all grown-ups here, even when you have intercourse. Like, that is what you're activating the positive endorphins okay so movement is so so important i just wanted to break that down a little bit to you guys tonight and tomorrow we are going to start the morning off with some abundance and some affirmations and some scripture so i'm gonna make this a uh, earlier night tonight god willing because we have a teething baby and a toddler um but we are gonna mm -hmm set my alarm for early so I could wake up, have my time with God, and then come on live with you ladies and share some affirmations, share some information about abundance, creating a healthy, abundant mindset and lifestyle. Mommy, mommy, mommy. And I'm super excited. So I'm gonna get to the little one, get her settled down for bed. I'm going to start winding down and thank you so much for doing day one with me. Don't forget, sweat check. Comment below on the video. Let me know you moved your body for over 20 minutes today. And you have until midnight to get it done. If not, jump right in tomorrow. This is not to criticize anyone. This is not to judge anyone. This is a drama-free zone, okay? I believe in all of you. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.